guys, hope you are all good. I wanted to do a bit of a casual, kind of sit down, chatty vlog video as it's the new year and I feel like I haven't spoken to you guys in a quite long time. And I don't know what this video is going to end up being, it might just be this section but also we might end up doing something the rest of the day and yeah I'm just going to see how it goes. And also I'm expecting a Boohoo delivery as well so hopefully I can show you what I've bought from that as well. I keep saying as well, as well. And also the lighting may change a bit so apologies for that. It is the, is it the second weekend of January? No, it's actually the first weekend of January. So it was Christmas last week, which I can't believe actually. Uh, that has gone very, very quickly. And I usually film a what I got for Christmas video, but I didn't end up doing one this year because I was actually ill over Christmas, which it was a bit annoying at the time. I had sickness and I also then got a cold, which I'm still kind of just slightly recovering from now. But it didn't sort of spoil my Christmas. I still had a really, really great time. Um, and yeah, I just didn't feel like kind of filming. I just wanted to put all of my Christmas stuff away and then yeah, just kind of fresh start. So it is Sunday today and yesterday we actually put down all the Christmas decorations, which was quite sad. And I really, really love Christmas. So I was, yeah, a bit sorry to see them go but at the same time it was kind of nice just to kind of have the house fresh and kind of clear again what i will say is that i got some really really nice christmas bits and you'll probably kind of see them throughout the vlogs as kind of we go on i got a coffee machine from dan hence why i've got a coffee this is a huge mug by the way but it was only two pounds from the range i think it's really really cute and yeah i just like having my coffee in there last night we went to see the greatest showman and i absolutely loved it i really really wanted to see it because i love la la land and i knew that the music was done by the same people and yeah i really, really like musicals i don't always like musical films so i didn't like les mis sometimes a bit of an unpopular opinion but yeah i loved la la land and i also love anything with zac efron in it so i was really excited to see it and yeah i loved it I guess I really wanted to talk a little bit about what I kind of see for this channel for the new year and if I'm totally honest I have no idea and I don't know whether to just kind of go with it and see what happens or whether to try and plan videos or not. So a lot of you know that I work full time and it is quite long hours I kind of leave home at quarter to eight and I don't get home till about half six so there's not much time to film in the week and then kind of when it comes down to the weekend I feel like I'm just kind of tidying the house, cleaning the house, getting my life sort of sorted and then yeah I just feel like making videos ends up being on the back burner which is such a shame because this is, I love doing it and I love watching YouTube still. I feel like YouTube has changed a lot since I started, it was a lot of, for me it was beauty videos and hauls and things like that whereas that's not really what I spend my money on anymore, I kind of spend my money on housey things or going places and seeing friends and that kind of thing so it's just I feel like I haven't got the same sort of content that I had before but I feel like that's fine I feel like a lot of people just like watching chatty vlogs and things like that so I don't know I'm gonna see what happens but maybe in the box below let me know what maybe you'd want to see I know a lot of people in the past have asked me for sort of a fitness video and that kind of thing because I had kind of lost weight in like the last couple of years but if I'm honest I didn't really do that much I I feel like maybe there is a bit of content that I could talk about, so maybe I will plan it. Um, so yeah, let me know if you're interested. And to be honest, I actually need to get back onto that. And this year, I really want to get back into kind of where I was before. I had I was very confident about my, about my body a couple of years ago, um, and I, yeah, I really want to get back to that. So that might mean starting running again, <laughs> or um, maybe joining the gym. I don't know. So I feel like fresh start, and it might mean kind of getting back on that. So we shall see. But yeah. In terms of video content, let me know what maybe you'd be interested in seeing or what you just in general like watching on YouTube now. I'd just be interested to kind of know what my audience like watching. And maybe who your favourite YouTubers are as well, actually. I'd be really interested. I watch a lot of Hello October, uh, Lily Pebbles, Ike Vetby, uh, The Bitchlax, Louise Pentland. I love her weekly vlogs so much. I just find she's just so kind of normal and funny. Um... Who else do I watch? Jade Billington as well. She's lovely. But yeah, let me know who you watch below. That'd be really interesting. This year um, should be quite an exciting year for me personally. I've got quite a few cool things booked in already. Um, at the end of this month, I'm actually going away to Madrid for a few nights with my girls. Um, and then my school friends. And yeah, I'm really excited. We've had this trip planned for a long time. Well, we talked about it for a long time. We wanted to do it for our 25th birthdays, but then it never really happened. Uh, but then we decided to like get it booked. So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Let me know if you've got any Madrid recommendations below as well, if you've ever been. 
we've actually just booked a holiday for June as well which was a bit naughty but YOLO <laughs> um, and that is to Crete and we have been there before but we're going to a slightly different place this time um, so again let me know if you have any recommendations for that and then also in June um, one of my best friends who I'm going away in January she's actually getting married which is so exciting um, one of my first sort of childhood friends getting married which is yeah crazy but so so nice and yeah she's actually getting married in Ireland so that's going to be really really lovely to see another part of the world um, yeah, that I've never been to before, so that's cool. I don't think I've got anything else booked, but I'm sure that'll keep me busy for now. Yeah, I'm excited to see what this year has in store, really, and um, hopefully I can share some bits with you. But I probably will carry on this vlog for the rest of the weekend. I need to make some lunch now, um, and then we might end up going on a walk this afternoon or something. So yeah, happy new year. Gonna drink my coffee. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm a little bit blinded right now. Um, it's a bit later and we have come out for a country walk. Yeah, you really can't see me. But yeah, it's very windy, but hopefully it will be nice because uh, it's nice and sunny. This is like my favorite type of weather this is. Crisp, cold, but sunny and blue skies. <laughs> Let's go. are home now and I thought as it is still light outside I would do a bit of a boohoo try on haul because the bits have arrived excuse the mess over there um and yeah I bought a couple of things in different in the same size bought a couple of things the same in different sizes um yeah basically I think it's all tops actually it's just all tops to try with jeans um for potential like evening outfits for Madrid so yeah I'm gonna try this all. so this is the first thing which is horrendous um I didn't realise it was going to be quite so cropped, but it is very cropped, so yeah, this is going to go back, but I bought this in red and black, and also in like multiple sizes, so yeah. It's a shame, because I really like the detail, like with it's red, but yeah, this is not happening. Ooh, I thought I was going to like this one, it's like a polka dot blouse with really like big sleeves, but without like giving too much... Ooh. Um, it's basically just a tie here, and it's just way too booby, so I don't think I'm going to go with this. But I could maybe try the tank top, but then I just think that maybe then it's just not the same. I actually quite like this. It's a polka dot shirt again, but and it's got sort of like flowy sleeves here. And it has got quite a low neck, but it's not quite as much as the other one. And it kind of like comes out a little bit with frills. Um, oh, what's going on there? But I actually think it's quite cute. It's got like ruffles at the back. Um, yeah, this could actually be all right. I quite like this. Okay, so I also ordered this, and I ordered this in red, white, and black, and it's okay, but I don't think I like it in red, because it's a bit of a crappy material, um, but I'm wondering if the black one might be alright, so, um, yeah, I might try that, but, yeah, it just doesn't look very good around here. Okay, yes, yeah, so this one is definitely nicer in black. I actually quite like it. I'm still a bit worried that the material's a bit rubbish. I thought maybe it'd be quite good... To keep for like maybe meetings instead of maybe Madrid because I think it's quite smart I don't know I might have to remember how much this one is because if it's like I don't just keep it for the sake of it to be honest yeah I have just checked and this one's 18 pounds so I'm not going to keep it because it's not good enough for 18 pounds um, and then I've also got this which looks all right but I'm not going to keep it because it's just not the best material and it doesn't really fit me that great it's quite tight in the arms probably could get something nicer that's better that's similar so yeah so out of all that there was about one thing that was decent but you know you got to try these things on because otherwise you just don't know do you so now i'm gonna have the package all of this back up excuse bra fun hey guys so it's a bit later now and i went to my sister's to see my nephews had some cuddles and kisses that was nice um and then now i have come home and we are making a roast so we have got chicken under here which is cooked um we're just looking a bit shriveled now poor thing um but it's because we've got potatoes in the oven roast potatoes in there 
we're actually trying the um, Jamie Oliver recipe for the roast potatoes, which we've never tried before, but they also are really good. So yeah, they smell amazing. And then I've shredded, um, like chopped up some Brussels, which I do in a bit of butter, which is always really nice. Then we've got carrots in the steamer and then also got some runner beans. And then I will make gravy from scratch. And then I've got some red wine on the go and Dancing on Ice starts tonight which I'm really excited about. I don't care if you judge me, but I really like Dancing on Ice and yeah, I'm excited that it's back. So I'm gonna be watching that tonight. I can concur, is that the right word? I can vouch for the Jamie Oliver potato recipe. They were amazing. They were crispy, they were soft on the inside, and they tasted delicious. They actually had a really, really nice flavour. And all I did was put one clove of garlic, slightly crushed, in the tray with them, and a bit of rosemary. And they were delicious. I was just editing this vlog ready to go up tonight. And I was just thinking that, oh, my hair is such a mess, and I keep fiddling with it in this vlog. I was thinking that I didn't really sort of say thank you to everyone that watched my videos this year. Obviously, I wasn't really on YouTube very much, but I really, really, really appreciate any one of you that have watched my videos. And yeah, I always love reading all your comments, so please always comment um, because I really like to have a little chat with you. So yeah, it was just sort of a thank you really for sticking with me last year and for, yeah, giving me some love. It was very, very nice. Hopefully we will have some more chats in the new year and yeah, I will see you soon. Thank you guys for watching if you made it this far and yeah, don't forget to like and let me know in the comment box what you want to see this year. That'd be great. Bye.